Hi, this is Ron Nutter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter Product Reviews. Today we're looking at the EDU06-VP Oscilloscope Tutor Kit. Now, it's recently been released from a company called WADA, which is some sort of relationship, I haven't figured out what it is, to Velman. Either way, if you're getting your first oscilloscope, or you just want to learn a little bit more about things past what you've been using before. This is an excellent tutor kit. Okay, now we're going to do the unboxing before we get into the three things you need to know. You're going to hear me probably say this several times, and that's going to be, you've got to have both items. And this one is very specific. It's an AC adapter. Most of the, the wall warts or uh, transformer devices you plug in the wall are going to be DC output for the most part at least that's what I have run up with so this one is very specific so this is from Jameco this is the one to get when you get started you'll see it linked on the page on Amazon if you've already got an AC one that fits the requirements then you're good to go but Go ahead and if you're not exactly sure, go ahead and get one at the time you get this. Okay, you've seen these before. I don't need to do an unboxing of that. This one has gone through a little bit of change. It looks like there was a change in companies that did it. And this is a nice little device for those that are just getting used to oscilloscopes. They even point you to an online manual. I've seen a lot of criticism of this board. I don't know if they didn't get the manual. I found it from the original source and this company, this company apparently took it over. So they look to be the same version, but get the manual before you get started. So let's get this open here. It's just enough. Plain bag. It's got some nice standoffs on here, and that's mainly because you've got all these solder joints on here, which was another point of criticism. And looking at in my studio lights, I'm seeing everything that looks, looks good. If you're not sure of your surface, I would probably go one step further and put this on. You can get thin rubber sheets and just put this on top of it because you will be dealing with AC voltage. DC, um, I'm not as concerned about, but it's more AC. The nice thing here, and this is what the manual will show you, there's different test points built in where you can easily grip your probe to it. And you've got little ring devices here. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Now will get you wrong way. There we go. So this will, have to bear with me while I'm adjusting this, is I'm actually working upside down. This gives you different things to adjust, some potentiometers. You've got transistors that can be checked on, and it shows you at different points of the board what the waveform should look like. Now, if you're new to oscilloscopes, don't just willy-nilly and start hooking up and crossing, because you might hook it up to the wrong point. Go through the manual, treat it just like you would kind of a beginner's class. This board has a second benefit to it in that it's a it's a reference point that if you encounter something similar you can fall back to this to see okay in a similar kind of circuit what should I be seeing in terms of a waveform and if you want to see what's going on with here then you've got two test points right here uh, SK1 and SK6 so you can see exactly what's going on and a good indication here with the LED if it ain't on your wall warts not plugged in so this is something well worth getting it's not going to break the bank in terms of doing it so especially as you're learning with what may be your first oscilloscope this is definitely worth taking a look at thing number one it's really intended for first-time oscilloscope users because this gives you a known good reference point for the different kinds of waveforms there is an AC power supply that you're going to need to get with this because it, and I say AC power supply, it feeds AC into the board. So you probably won't have something like this 
at home and with the uh, neighborhood electronic stores pretty much being a thing of the past now when you get this off Amazon uh, you'll see a link on the same page where you can get this AC adapter and it's one that will work with this and really let the board show you what it can do. Thing number two, there's a step-by-step -step manual to increase your learning. Now, if you got a little bit of experience with electronics, then you could probably just delve right into this. But I would suggest downloading the manual. It is available from either the WADA page or I actually did some digging and found the link off Wellman and they look to be identical so it doesn't look like they have done any changes to the manual. Thing number three, and I kind of touched on this one earlier, it only needs an AC power supply to be able to generate the signals for you that you can pick up with an oscilloscope. There were complaints on this that the solder joints were uh, very poor and it just wasn't really, didn't seem to be up to snuff. I've gone over the board and I, there might be a solder joint or two, but I've never seen one totally perfect. So this is something, it does come with four little rubber feet to keep it up off the, the face of a uh, whatever surface you've got it on. I would probably go and take it the next step. And they've got these thin rubber sheets and I'm talking, you know, eighth of an inch to put this on top of it. And that way, you, in case something misses your eye, you're not gonna worry about something getting shorted out on the back of the board. Either way, it shouldn't happen, but just to be on the air of caution. So whether you're a first time oscilloscope user or somebody who is just wanting to increase their knowledge, this is something definitely worth taking a look at.